The Necronomicon is a chaplain job-specific trader item that costs four telecrystals. The description of the Necronomicon is an unholy book capable of summoning a demonic familiar. So if you purchase it, you get the book in your hand, and it also has this big green enhanced sprite. And the description in-game is there's a note. I Klatu Varata Nikto, I don't know. Don't forget it again. It's just flavor text, doesn't do anything. It counts as a little book storage, but if you press 4, or whatever key it ends up going into, you'll have a message appear above your head letting you know that a Cerberus ghost roll is open. Now, the Necronomicon is useless if somebody doesn't pick up your familiar. So it's kind of like Remilia and kind of like a hollow parasite. But as soon as somebody requests it, the Cerberus will pop out immediately. So there is no stealth. If you have the Necronomicon on you and you have activated the familiar, the person who's taken over the ghost roll could give you away at any moment. Because Cerberus is syndicate only which means it can only be acquired using Syndicate gear, and that instantly will give the Chaplain away, without a doubt. Some stations have more than one Chaplain, but either way, it uh, narrows it down quite a lot. Cerberuses aren't extremely fast, but they do have some minor damage resist to make up for their speed. Cerberuses also have a little bit less health than a human. They go crit at 80 and die at 160 damage, but their little bit of extra damage resist should help them out a, little, a decent bit. Also, the main thing about having a Cerberus and like having a Hollow, and they're pretty similar in this aspect, is that it is a hell of a lot harder to arrest two people instead of one. And obviously, you can't arrest Cerberus, but like the whole stun, you stuns are superior in this game to everything, but stuns lose their efficiency quite quickly. The more perpetrator security is trying to arrest, security is going to have a hell of a time trying to stun you if you're like fighting with your Cerberus and trying to put cuffs on you if there's a dog a literal demon dog from hell trying to eat them uh, another thing to note with Cerberus is, is they can talk but it just translates to R and they have their own scream very distinguishable they don't have their, their attack speeds pretty normal they don't attack extremely quickly however each bite does a mix of of slash and pierce aka the two most damaging and lethal types of damage in the game due to bleeding so they are quite competent at dishing out a good bit of damage quickly and the fun thing is with Cerberuses is that you could have five of them you could blow every single TC you have on just buying more Necronomicons under the job tab like I said earlier so you could buy five Cerberuses there's not too much else to include, really. It's fairly simple, but the Necronomicon itself doesn't actually tell you that it's going to summon a demon dog that has pretty good combat stats. So the whole point of this is to just make an item that you might have never purchased purchasable. There is one other way to get a Cerberus without just buying them directly. If you buy an Emag, which costs 8 TC, you can Emag your Piety Vend, which will be in your chapel room, chaplain room, and inside of it, comes a Necronomicon. So, you can just say you got half your TC back right there. But what also is really powerful is there's an Acolyte Armor and a Colt Helmet that will appear in the vending machine as well. And the Acolyte Armor is just as good as the Captain's Carapace, which is a very good armor. It's resistant against everything. Damage-wise, like, of the common damage. It's not poison resistance. And you also get a Colt Helmet, which is also... Very resistant. I mean, if you're going to be going the Cerberus route, uh, you're already going to be giving yourself away really badly. So by emagging your Piety Vend, you get a set of really good armor that only slows you by 10%. You get a Cerberus, and then you'll have the emag. So it's a very, very powerful tool to emag your Piety Vend. And then if you really want, you can just go crazy and buy three more Cerberuses. So you can get four Cerberuses, an emag, and a Cult Armor. For 20 TC. Just an idea. Just a loadout potential. And plus, Cerberuses give dead people something to do. Ghost roll. There's not very many ghost rolls in this game. So being the person who gives other people the opportunity to, to come back after death and do something fun. Just something to keep in mind. But that's all I got for now.